State. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of what it still looks like very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, of all the U.S. indices that we are tracking, trading to the upside, Dow's up 570 points, S&P 87, NASDAQ 297, Russell's up 34. That's 2%, 2 percent, 2 four tenths, 2 six tenths, 2.08 percent to the upside. The semis are up about 3 percent at $75.60. What does all that mean, Jelly Bean? Well, I tell you what it all means here. We'll do it uh, by looking at a couple of different things out here. Here are six of the core indices. These are the ones that, uh, well. I was going to take that back, what I was going to say, because that's not the case. Uh, five of the six are ones that we can trade. The Dow in the upper left-hand corner. So in each of these cases here, you see A to B equals CD patterns that are in place out here. And so that says, well, what does today's candle suggest? Excellent question. To make that a little bit easier for you, we'll just simply go change screens out here. We'll take a look at the normal white background screens that we look at for our cash indices. What you will see on the Dow Jones is that you have a three river morning star. So that's going to complete, likely or confirm, a buy the D point pattern. Now, in this case here on the daily basis, first the next level of resistance will be 3801 or thereabouts. That's that red oscillator and change line. The S&P 500, its next target, because that's also a three river morning star. So I would confirm a buy the D point. Take it at 37.95. Now, price may be, if that's where the battle's going to take place. What I don't know is whether it's buyers or sellers that will win that battle. It's primarily sellers that are sitting up at those red oscillator and change lines. But like the NDX 100 right now, which will confirm with its gap to the upside, as long as that remains through the day, a buy the D point pattern price is above the red oscillator and change line. What does that mean, Stevie? That means that you should expect or anticipate a further at least counter trend move, which is what we would call it right now. If you look at the Russell 2000, there is no bottom signal that is in place for it. If we take a look at the semiconductors, they have a confirmed by the D point pattern, as long as this three river morning star pattern holds up and the gap to the upside. That suggests a move to 2730. The transports out here looks like they may form a TD nine count bottom. The NASDAQ composite gap to the upside and price trade above its red oscillator and change line. So the NASDAQ is where the strength is at from the standpoint of being able to overtake the red oscillator on change lines. Hmm, something to think about. Hey, folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Have a terrific Tuesday. I'll look forward to seeing you on wonderful Wednesday. Take care. Folks.